Gimba, officially the municipality of Gimba, is a first-class municipality in the province of Nueva Ecija, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 118,655 people. It was incorporated by the King of Spain by virtue of a royal decree in 1897. Etymology Gimba came from the Ilocano term, Jeba, which was the process of heating molded clay pots in a pit until they turn reddish and durable. Tree stumps were made into large pieces of charcoal. The live charcoals were placed underneath the clay pots. After a few hours these were hardened and ready to bring out from the pit and ready for use. The story goes, once a Spanish visited the place where most of the residents are engaged in pottery making. The foreigner stopped and asked the earth bakers this question in a nasalized manner. ¿Qué lugar este? The foreigner asked what this place was. The natives misunderstood the question and were asked what they were doing, so they answered, G-E-B-B-A, pointing to the ground. The Spaniard repeated the word as they left the place, G-H-E-B-H-A, after years have gone by the name of the place was Hispanized into Gimba when the Spaniard founded the town as Pueblo en la Provincia de Nueva Ecija. This pottery-making tradition is prevalent even in other barangays outside the central area of the town. An example is Barangay Pasong Insik, which was named after. Old jars containing Chinese remains were once found beneath a bridge. The early Ilocano settlers brought with them the wonder image of Apo San Juan so they called the place San Juan de Gimba. In the American period, a resolution on the town separated the term Gimba from Apo San Juan, thus its present name, but Apo San Juan remains as its patron saint. The pottery traditions of the indigenous settlers were later disintegrated and lost due to population influx from the Ilocos region and other areas in the south. History What is now the town of Gimba was once a vast ecological rainforest which was part of the central Luzon rainforest during pre-colonial time, before the arrival of the Spanish. The area is believed to be inhabited by no permanent communities, rather, it is inhabited by hunter-gatherer societies, mainly Alongats. The area was once part of the huge territory that the Empire of Tondo, with its capital in a much forested Manila. In the collapse of the Empire of Tondo after the subjugation of Brunei, the area was transitioned into a free zone once again, where hunter-gatherers abounded. The area is also believed to once have been visited by migrating Aetis, Cordillerans, Ilocanos, and Ilongots. The first Ilocano settlers, arriving in wooden carts and horsebacks, cleared the thick forests and planted the first rice seeds in February 20, 1865, according to an old and brownish record found by Gimba's former parish priest, Rev. Agustin Gus Palong, M.S.C. They called the area San Juan de Gimba. In honor of the patron saint the settlers brought from Ilocos, San Juan, and combined it with the pot-making industry called Jeba, which they used to do in the old land. Since then, rice became the primary agricultural crop in the area. Due to this, it became the province of Nueva Ecija's traditional top rice-producing area in the 20th century. More settlers arrived mostly from the old towns of Bacara, Paoay, and Candon of the Ilocos provinces. Among the families who came were the Galapans, Mateos, Cuddles, Padres, Cayogs, Romanos, Silvestres, Capinpayans, Batangans, Fagals, Ramoses, Sumawangs, and Catabonas. What would be the town of Gimba is a relatively organized community when the Spanish colonialists arrived and appointed Don Luis de Ocampo as the first gobernador solo, and later, Don Pablo Ramos and Santiago Cuddle. The Spanish left and the Americans came and in 1912, the town's name was abbreviated to Gimba with Don Alfonso Fagel as the first alcalde mayor. Saint John the Evangelist though remains to be its patron saint. The first municipal hall was also built during this year in what is now known as Fagel Street. The plaza municipal evolved and what will become the public market started its commerce. A foot bridge was constructed during the administration of the late Agustin Vigilia, Alcalde Mayor. This foot bridge was constructed across the Binacharan River leading to the northern barrios like San Andres, Balbalino, Gasset, Bebeabas, Sinance, Nangabulan to Barangay Talugtug from the Paraero Street. 
Later this wooden bridge was demolished and transferred it to the present site north of the Fagel Street this was known as Fagel Bridge going to the north, to the municipality of Talagtug. Other infrastructures were put up with the public market and cleared the space for the municipal plaza, now the Midtown Municipal Park. In 1941, during the Japanese regime the late Juan Villamar was appointed municipal mayor. During World War II, the Imperial Japanese military forces entered and occupied Gimba in 1942. At daybreak of January 26, to August 15, 1945, advance reconnaissance units of the American troops under the U.S. Army 6th Infantry Division and aided by the local Filipino soldiers of the Philippine Commonwealth Army 2nd, 22nd, 25th and 26th Infantry Division liberated Gimba and, within hours, established outposts nine miles farther to the east along the Licab River and La Paz. Combined U.S. and Philippine Commonwealth military forces liberated the town of Gimba in 1945 and ended World War II. In 1963, Dr. Virgilio Calica was the mayor and it was during his term that the old municipal hall was constructed, the present site of our new municipal hall constructed in year 2004. This building was demolished during the administration of José Bopet Dizon and the new municipal hall was constructed and occupied in 2006. In 2006, Gimba became a first-class municipality. The municipality is now known not just for its agriculture significance but also for its festival, Ragragzik T. Gimba. Geography Gimba is in the western part of Nueva Ecija province. It is 153 kilometers 95 miles northwest of Manila. It is 36 kilometers 22 miles from Cabanatuan City, Nueva Ecija and 33 kilometers 21 miles from Tarlac City. Land area Gimba is considered as the biggest town in Nueva Ecija. It covers a land area of 25,853.2330 hectares. Barangays Gimba is politically subdivided into 64 barangays. Four are considered urban barangays while 60 are classified as rural barangays. Climate There are two types of climate in the town. Dry season from November to June, and rainy seasons from July to October, while there are three recognized types of soil in its territory. Bantig clay loam Guingua slit loam San Fabian clay loam Demographics The Guimbanian speaks two dialects namely Tagalog and Ilocano. Majority of the population are Roman Catholic, while other religions such as Iglesia ni Cristo, Methodist, Seventh-day Adventist, Jehovah's Witness, Born Again, Islam, and others also exist. Native and adapted culture, Gimba up to this day is practicing Filipino traditions like Pamanhacan, Sinidag, Sinaculo, Hugas Kalawang, Holy Week, Santa Cruzan, Flores de Mayo, Patronal Feast and Town Fiesta. An annual homecoming ball is also held every December by the Gimba New Year Association while its national festival, Ragragzik T. Gimba is held for the town's foundation anniversary. Economy Most Gwimbanians derive their income from agriculture. As such, the agriculture sector ranks first in terms of generating employment for the populace. At the end of year 2006, Gimba had a total labor force of 38,120. Gimba economy revolves mainly on agriculture. However, there are also cottages, small and medium-scale industries. Local producers are involved in the manufacture of furniture, food processing, panara making, native rice cakes, pele buying, auto parts, clothing, subdivisions, cosmetics, medicine, and construction. 
As of 2017, Gimba has a total income of P289,497,138.5 assets of P556,825,821.5 liabilities of P165,318,650.1 and equity of P296,965,545.1 The town has an employment rate of 74%. Local government Municipal elected official, 2013-present Jose R. Dizon, Mayor Leonardo Garcia, Vice Mayor Councilors Jose Eulogio Rosalino M. Dizon Florante Tony D. Agapito Edgardo Gary P. Mangelino Casimiro Gallopin Jr. Felix D. R. Luming Eric Mateo Lino J. R. Padre Jr. Rodolfo B. Payog List of former mayors Spanish period 1. Don Luis de Ocampo 2. Don Pablo Ramos 3. Don Santiago Cuddle American period to contemporary period Heritage Intangible cultural heritage The Ragragzik T. Gimba is the annual festival of Gimba. It is composed of various events that begins at February and ends at March. Preparations normally start at January. The highlights include opening mass, Ms. Gimba, basketball competitions, Ms. Gay, Mr. Teen, opening band, and the street dance which is the most popular. The town formerly was known for its potteries, which were introduced by its first settlers from the Ilocos region. However, the tradition vanished sometime before or after the Philippine Revolution. The town also possessed a rice pounding tradition during full moons, however, the tradition vanished during the martial law period in the 1980s. Tangible cultural heritage In accordance to Article 5 Section 4 of the National Heritage Act of 2009 Republic Act 10066, the Philippine Registry of Cultural Property PRECUP, the repository of all information pertaining to cultural properties in the Philippines deemed significant to Filipino cultural heritage, was established and came to effect last 2009. Aside from cultural agencies of the government, the law also mandates the cultural office of the LGU to establish a local important cultural properties list and documents, as declared by the Sangunian. These are cultural properties which are significant to local culture and history of Gimba. Among the ways to register a cultural property in the PRECUP are, 1. Local government units, through their cultural offices, shall likewise maintain an inventory of cultural property under its jurisdiction and shall furnish the commission a copy of the same, and 2. Private collectors and owners shall register their cultural property to the National Museum. Registered cultural properties shall remain in the possession of their private owners. A building, monuments, or zone aged 50 and above is considered a heritage structure, archives, books, and works of art with high significance to local culture and history is considered a heritage object, all of which can be registered in the PRECUP. The municipality of Gimba, as of 2017, has yet to submit any cultural property to the PRECUP. The cultural properties of Gimba that may be submitted for registration in the PRECUP includes St. John the Baptist Parish Church, known also as Gimba Church, known for its intricate depiction of the mysteries of Christ at its two aisles, its huge altar painting depicting heaven and earth ruled by God, and its ceiling painting which depict rice stocks, the town's main product, Old Capitol Building, established during the American period and has been the former seat of power of the municipality, 
Ruins of the Philippine National Railway Station in Gimba, which is one of the few connective rail stations in Nueva Ecija. Triala's Mansion, formerly owned by Nueva Ecija's revolutionary leader, General Manuel Tinio. Fagel Bridge and other Spanish and American period bridges within the municipality. Historic Gimba Public Cemetery. Various Spanish and American era ancestral houses, many need urgent conservation as many houses have been demolished already in favor of non traditional cement buildings. Various barangay landmark sculptures like those in Pasong Inchik's Intersection Road. Various artifacts and books in Gimba's heritage centers. Our Lady of the Sacred Heart College of Gimba Campus, one of the oldest educational institution in the town. Bartolomé National High School, possesses the Gabaldone architectural style, a unique architectural style of the Philippines. Environmental heritage Prior to Spanish arrival, the entire town of Gimba was completely covered with rainforests. Philippine deer, Luzon warty pig, bleeding heart doves, and Philippine eagles were present as locals or passerby species. In the American period, agriculture was increased and the forest cover began to deplete. By the end of the 21st century, all big aves and wild mammals went extinct, while the forest cover was calculated to be less than 5% of its original extent. Infrastructure Roads and total length in km. At national roads 41.760 B. Provincial roads 44.700 C. Municipal 15.600 D. Barangay 153.720 Bridges in length M. Bridge along National Road Barangay underscore, blank, underscore length, M. 1. Banyal. 0.5.00. 2. Bacayao. 0.36.00. Bridge along Provincial Road. 1. Cavite. 0.24.00. 2. Tampak I 0.5.00 Bridge along Barangay Road 1. Sinulatan 0.12.00 2. Sta. Lucia 0.24.00 3.1sta. Anna 3.2 Bonsober 4.1 Macapabalag 0.12.00 4.2 Macapabalag 0.6.00 5. Balbalino 0.36.00 6. Kasong Song 0.16.00 7. Makamias 0.36.00 8. San Miguel 0.6.009.1 Nagpandayan, 0.36.009.2 Nagpandayan, 0.6.0010. Usin, 0.6.00 total, 0.220.00 meters. Dam, Swift, small water impounding project, covering barangays, A, Brigi. San Marcelino, 8 has, B, Brigi. Cataman, 5 has, 15 kilometers long, C, Brigi. 
Lenik, San Felipe, 60 Has, Mia, Phase 1, Kasekhnan, Covering Barangays 1, Naglabrahan 2, Banyal 3, Cabaruan 4, Kulong 5, Triala 6, San Bernardino 7, Caballero 8, Sta. Cruz 9, Tampac 2 and 310, Tampac I 11, Manaxac 12, Cardinal 13, Nagpandayan 14, AG Cano 15, San Roque 16, Bantag 17, Banatan 18, Kataman 19, Kasongsong 20, Narbakan E. More than half of Gimba's energy is taken from hydro power plants, making it a sustainable town. Its communications is mainly handles by Digitel, while Globe, Touch Mobile, Sun Cellular, and Smart are the predominant cell phone services used. Education Education in Gimba is taught by various educational institutions in the municipality which offer mostly information technology, hotel and restaurant management, and teacher education. Other courses are subsidized by Nueva Ecija's only state university, Central Luzon State University, located in the municipality of Muñoz and other colleges in Cabanatuan City, the province regional economic center. Gimba's educational institutions include, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart College, Inc. or OLSHCO formerly OLSHA, Brigi. St. John, La Fortuna College Gimba Branch, Brigi. STA, Veronica, AMA Computer Learning Center Gimba Branch, Ongianco Street, Brigi. St. Veronica, College for Research and Technology or CRT, Serené District, World City College or WCC, Brigi. Serenay, ETO School of Science and Technology, Brigi. Santa Veronica, BLUN, Bonifacio Luz Natividad Educational Foundation, St. John District, Gimba, Nueva Ecija, Bartolome Sangalang National High School, formerly, Gimba National High School. Brigi. St. John, Triala National High School, Brigi. Triala, Nagpandayan High School, Brigi. Nagpandayan, Galvan National High School, Brigi. Galvan, San Andres National High School, Brigi. San Andres PACAC High School, Brigi. PACAC, Manaxac High School, formerly Nagpandayan High School Annex. Brigi. Manaxac Bartolome Sangalang National High School Annex, Brigi. Makatkatuit College of Advanced Technology and Management, Brigi. San Roque Gimba has a literacy rate of 97%. Healthcare Gimba General Hospital, Inc. Address, Bagan Street Sta. Veronica District, Gimba, Nueva Ecija Gimba Community Hospital, Gimba Meternity and Lying in Clinic, other clinics and Brigi, health centers serve the populace around the municipality of Gimba. References External links Gimba Official Site Pasilan Nueva Ecija Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System